R.J. is a first-time caller out of South Carolina. R.J., thank you for calling. You're on the air. Hola. Senor. <laughs> Yo, si. Mamma mia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of that. How you doing, Jesse? All is well, sir. How you? Doing pretty good. Before I, before I say anything, I just want to say, man, I love the show. I love your overall message of good and evil. I think it's, I think it's great. You know, thank you. Um, right versus wrong. Yeah, I, I think it's really great. Um, we like gotta only, remind. Thing, we gotta remind people. It's not about the color. It's not about whether you're male or female. That's true. That's true. Um, but the only thing I, I would have a question about because I mean I'm, I'm a 22 year my, my 22 years old myself and uh, and I I mean I'm kind of on the fence because I I haven't voted yet but. You know, I, I'm on the fence of Republican or nothing because, you know, I grew up Christian and everything like that. So, you know, but um, I'm all over. But I just got a question. It would be, why do you think Trump is sent by God? Good question. Because I heard you say that before. Million dollar question. Hold on. Do not <laughs> hang up. I want to respond right. to that. Let me take a break. Back in a moment. Really good question. Back in a moment. Uh, let me go quickly back to R.J. So R.J. is a good guy. He said that if he doesn't vote Republicans today, Republican, he's not going to vote at all. He wanted to know, why do I call the great white hope? I mean, President Trump, the great white hope. Am I right in what I'm saying, R.J.? Yeah. yeah. And the reason I call him that is because over the last long time, we've been going through hell in this country. And then when Barack Obama was in the White House, we almost lost the country completely. We finally get a president who is a nationalist, meaning that he put his home first. He put the country first. And so far, everything that he said that he would do, he has done it. And he's not afraid to speak up. He's not afraid of the media. He's not afraid of being called racist or, or hating women and all that crap that the enemies use against men and women who are of good the president has not displayed anger in that he's not overreacting to these people, but he stand up to them. And you have to be of God in order to deal with evil in that way. And then he's white. Okay. So that's why I call him the great white hope. So I guess that kind of answers my next question then, because my next question was going to be, do you think somebody could display the char characteristics of a godly man and, and still deceive you? No, you will see through it eventually. If if it's not the real deal, you will see through it. And believe me, the great white host has been there long enough for us to see through him if he wasn't real. And if you notice, uh, everything that in spite of the oppositions that's been against him, the liberal media, the radical homosexuals, the radical Democratic Party, the radical rhino Republicans, the never Trumpers, even our foreign enemies, they have not been able to stop him from doing good for the country. So you can't fake that very long. Okay. I encourage you to All go right, out then. and vote, man, and because it's going to benefit you as well. If the Democrats get in, it's going to hurt you. That's fair. That's fair. I appreciate it, man. All right. Thank you, RJ. Think about, not, you, I encourage you to go vote, especially since you're not going to vote for the Democrats. Yeah, especially not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, buddy. All right. All right. Amazing.